Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about Azure Data Lake Storage and its disadvantages. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So the question that arises is, are there any drawbacks of a lake? Right, so lake is required and this is how we depict the lakes in our diagrams. So ADLS generation to service Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Are there any shortcomings of this? The answer is yes, there are some shortcomings, right? So what are the shortcomings of this? A lake is a very beautiful technology, but has some issues. The issues pertain to merge overrides concurrent overwriting, right? Please understand that data lake is not a database, is not a relational RDBMS product. In a relational RDBMS product, I hope every one of us use at, have used at least one of the RDBMS product, maybe an Oracle database or SQL server or something like that. You all know that when we have a database, we have locking and blocking functions, right? We have something called as locking, oh, sorry. Azure SQL DB, let's just say SQL DB. In a SQL DB, if you, if you try to do write into a table, then the SQL server will place a lock on that table, right? Lock the table while you are writing that, because otherwise, if people are allowed to read the dirty data, then it can lead to inconsistencies, right? So if you are writing into one table, SQL Server going to log the table and block other users from accessing that table for that very duration, which means people will not be able to read the content of that table at that moment, right? If you do an insert or an update in the table, it will lock the table. It will do the lock escalation procedure. And if you try to touch that table, it will say block, right? It will remain blocked. It will not execute fully the query that you're doing. Locking and blocking. Locking and blocking, as we all know, is a generic procedure inside the RDBMS products. And we also have something which makes it more formal that is called as a concept of a transaction in the RDBMS products. Transaction. And what is a transaction? A transaction is a set of logical DML statements, a logical set of DML statements. Logical. It's a logical set of data modification language statements, insert updates and deletes, data modification language set of DML statements which follow certain properties while execution and those properties you studied in DP 900 those are called as A C I T acid properties atomicity atomicity consistency isolation and durability, right? You studied all these four principles in DB900. Atomicity means all or none. A transaction will execute all the statements or none of them. All or none, atomic. Consistency, data before and after the transaction will be consistent. So either you have to commit or you have to roll back the transaction. Isolation, no two transactions have any overlap. They all are isolated from each other and they are linearly serializable. They are isolated and they are linearly serializable. And durability, any change brought by a transaction will be permanent into the system. Once you commit or roll back, it is made permanent. Your transactions has been made permanent into the system. It is durable effect. It brings durable effects into the system. So what RDBMS tries to do is that it does not allow people to overwrite. 
if someone else is writing you are not allowed let them finish and then others will come this saves us from data corruption so this saves us from data corruption right this model saves us this saves us from corrupting the data from data corruption and inconsistencies from data corruption and inconsistencies correct in consistencies data corruption and inconsistencies that's the thing so now our question is that this feature is not found on lakes lakes do not have this feature sorry so what it means is that if you write two scripts script 1 and script 2 and both scripts try to do something in certain folder f then there is a potential chance there is a chance there is a possibility that after both of them have executed your folder may have got corrupted the data in the folder may get corrupted folder may be corrupted there are chances of corruption when you are doing concurrent concurrent inserts updates and merges inserts updates and merges so when you try to do something concurrently there is a possibility that the folders may get corrupted and we don't want data corruption so what is the solution is that the company called as databricks right databricks company invented something called as a delta lake engine right the company called as databricks invented a delta lake engine and the delta lake engine has a lot of advanced properties so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on azure data engineer for data engineer jobs and if you want to register for the same then you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash dp20302 you'll be seeing this kind of interface just click on book your free seat now select an event date enter your full name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of url on the extreme right save that url add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class